Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Trends. In today's video, we'll be listing the bar rescue bars and where are they at now? This time it's going to be part 8. Also, don't forget that we will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card, so please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and without any further interruptions, let's go ahead and get right into it. At number 1 we have the Fifth Amendment. The Fifth Amendment is also referred to as the Fifth, and is owned by Brad Hepworth, whose father previously owned the bar. During recon, John packs the bar and pulls out all the bartenders out of the building. The owner, Brad, doesn't even notice and he is just sitting in the bar drinking. Brad has owned the bar for 20 years and still doesn't know how to properly make drinks or use the cash register. Taffer gave him a lot of lessons and taught him how to properly run a bar and help out. Brad has definitely tried his best to improve himself, but he is still stubborn at many times. After the makeover, the bar is open and the reviews are mixed. They only have club liquor license in Bountiful, Utah, which makes it one of the most special bars in the city. At number 2, we have Thunderbolt Bar and Grill. John Taffer and his crew are in Pleasant Valley, Missouri to rescue Thunderbolt Bar and Grill. While John is there, he finds a filthy kitchen and the owner, Don, is acting like a frat boy in his own bar. Don will need to change his ways if he wants John Taffer to rescue his bar and if he wants Thunderbolt to succeed. During the bar rescue makeover, John Taffer decided to change the name of Thunderbolt Bar and Grill to Thunderbird KSC Tavern. The good side is that the bar is still open and has kept the name. In addition, sales are going up and the reviews so far are extremely positive. At number 3 we have the Wildfire Bistro. Wildfire Bistro is owned by Tony David who bought the bar and is a performer who must choose between his career and responsibilities. Tony used his savings to open the bar and he is supposedly losing $15,000 a month and is $250,000 in debt. And while John is doing recon, he sees that Tony's performances are not entertaining and that he also sees food at the bar and that has a hair in it. Taffer has tried to change Tony's perspective and make him realize that what he's doing is wrong. The makeover cost the production team quite a lot of money, but unfortunately the bar had negative reviews after the makeover and it was sold a few months after the makeover before the episode even aired on television. At number 4 we have Harbor Point Club & Grill. Harbor Point Club & Grill is co-owned by John Willis and Bert Novi, who had no prior bar experience. The owners are drinking in the bar, and during recon, the bar rescue pretends they are not making over the bar, and they see the reaction of John Burke. John Taffer sees they are genuinely upset and decides to go through with the makeover. The bar did not keep the name JV Taco or the concept. They currently go to Rocket Sports Bar, but at least the reviews have been somewhat positive, so definitely John Taffer has made his usual difference here, and we thank him a lot for it. At number 5 we have Drunken Donkey. Drunken Donkey Bar & Grill is owned by two best friends who are on quote unquote the verge of losing their bar. Co-owner Nick Bagais is working while wearing sandals and the bar has 75 different kegs and they are using four different managers to help run the bar. The bar's menu is far too large and the kitchen is using a microwave to warm up food. During the bar rescue makeover, John Taffer decided to change the name of the Drunken Donkey Bar & Grill to Butcher & Brew Pub. The good news is that the bar has kept the name since and the bar owners have multiple other businesses including another Drunken Donkey Bar. The sales on the other branches have been soaring but for the main business sales have decreased since the makeover. Well at least they have improved after the makeover in some rights but unfortunately the people still have their qualms and worries about what's going on there. So John Taffer made his best difference possible but unfortunately wasn't enough to save this bar. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, we really, really, really do appreciate your viewership, and please don't forget to go ahead, hit that like button on your screen, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon as well to get notified when we upload a brand new video here, and also don't forget to comment something nice down below, and we will see all of you guys in the next video, thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic and awesome day, bye bye.